Hi everyone. Okay, let's provide a solution to this problem right here. X plus 2 to the power 4 equals 16. Okay, so how do we solve this problem? Here is what I want to do. X plus 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 equals 16. Okay, I have not changed anything right here. Now, the next step I want to take is to expand what we have in here. Okay, I remember that a plus b to the power of 2 is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, right? So if this works, then what we have here is going to be x squared plus 2 times a. What is a? a is x then times b or b is 2 then plus we have b squared which will be 2 squared 2 so the whole of this is squared and it's equal to 16 okay i hope this is understandable x squared plus 4x plus 4 all squared is equal to 16. Now, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the square root of both sides to remove this square. So if I do that, x squared plus 4x plus 4 remains on the left hand side. Then on the right hand side, we have plus or minus the square root of 16. Then x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to plus or minus 4 because square root of 16 is 4. Now this is going to give us two solutions right I mean two equations right um, right away because of this plus or minus. So let's pick the one that is positive first. If I pick the positive from there we we'll have x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 4. Now, this and this can go just because they have the same sign. So that x squared plus 4x will be equal to 0. This is still a quadratic equation, even though it does not have the constant. It is still quadratic so we're going to factorize so that here we have x then plus 4 to be equal to 0 now it is either x is equal to 0 or x plus 4 is equal to 0 so that as x remains 0 it is also equal to 0 plus 4 on the other side so that our x will be 0 or x is equal to 4. So from here we have two solutions. Okay, now we are going to proceed and pick out this particular. Where is that? Trying to get it. Okay, we're going to pick out this equation again. And then we make this 4 here to be, to be negative this time around. So it is x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals minus 4. So this will now produce our quadratic equation. And we need to bring this to the left. So we have x squared plus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. Because if this comes here, it's, it becomes positive. So we add to the 4 and it gives us 8. So this is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve this using the formula method. So let's dive into it. Okay, our a is 1. That is the coefficient of x squared. b is 4. 
and our c is equal to 8. But then here is one thing that we are going to do right about now. Get your formula. Remember, I wrote this ABC because we have them in the formula. X is equal to minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Okay, so that if we proceed now, we substitute into the formula. Since we are looking for X, our B is 4, so we have minus 4 plus or minus. We have B squared, which will be 4 squared minus 4 times 1 because a is 1 then times times c and our c is 8 so that this will be divided by 2 times 1 now our x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus 4 squared is 16 then 4 times 1 times 4 4 times 8 Okay, 4 times 1 times 8. 4 times 8 is what? 4 times 8 is um, 32. So, I'm going to write my 32 over here. As we divide by 2. Because 2 times 1 is, um, is equal to 2. Okay, so let's continue from there. Now, our x will be equal to minus 4 plus or minus the square root of minus 16. Okay, let me turn this to 16. Then we divide by what? By the same 2. So x is now minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16. Oh, I didn't put the negative. So multiply by negative 1. Okay, under the root. Because if you have square root of 2 times square root of 2, we'll give you square root of 4. So we can always multiply since both of them are under the square root sign divided by 2. Now x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is still 4. Then square root of negative 1 is i. As we divide both sides, as we divide all through by 2. Now x is equal to 2 will go there to give us minus 2. Plus or minus the same 2 will go here to give us 2, then times i, we have 2i. So that if we go ahead now, we'll have two solutions from here. Now let's bring the four solutions together since we got 2 from the first equation. We got x to be 0, we got x again to be 4, right? So we're going to call this x1, x2 x2 then our x3 is from here which is minus 2 plus 2i then x4 again is from there which should be minus 2 minus 2i so these are the solutions to the given equation